Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video I want to talk about the different types of web servers that's available for our VPS hosting packages. So right now I'm on our VPS hosting packages page where you can choose which VPS that you want to deploy. Now, um, as mentioned, all of our VPSs are deployed instantly on our high-speed cloud so that if you deploy this 2 gigabyte one and then, then you get some traffic on it or you get live and you realize, well, I need more RAM, I need more space, then you can instantly scale up inside of our interface to the 4 gigabyte, to the 6 gigabyte, to the 8 gigabyte. What I recommend is if you're a startup and you're just developing and maybe you have a limited budget, jump on in here with the Hero 2 Gigabyte, get your stuff developed, get your sites built out, get your server configured how you need it, and then once you're ready to go live, go ahead and start scaling it up. Now, if you're a production website and you're already getting traffic and you're an active website, then I, I suggest going at, the four, here, at least the Hero 4 Gigabyte. In my experience, um, these all these servers come with free web host manager and cPanel, but in my experience, I, I don't feel like cPanel runs as efficiently as it does um, on four gigabyte versus two. So I, I like to just recommend this two gigabyte for development. And nine, nine out of 10 customers that come in, you know, they do, they do upgrade to the four gigabyte once they get developed. And those that don't, they, um, a lot of times will submit tickets saying, hey, you know, why is my server being sluggish? Well, that's, that's the main reason is the reason why we offer it is mainly for development. It's not really to be used as a production server. Um, but with that said, I want to discuss the different types of web servers that we offer and um, the difference they make. So I'm just going to click on 4 gigabyte, and I'll show you here. Um, for an example here, I'm just going to type in namehero.org. I'm missing the O. Um, just so I can show you the selection. So when you're setting up your server and you see under configurable options, there's a web server. And Apache or Apache, however you say it, um, is free. And this is probably the most popular web server out there, and, and um, it's kind of bundled up with WHM and cPanel, and, and um, it's probably the most used web server out there. Um, and it's free. That's, that's why. It's free and open source. And um, most of the time, people, the average person that wants a VPS will go ahead and just get Apache um, by default. Since it's already on there, there's no included cost. And nowadays, you can optimize this pretty good. Um, this video that I'm doing right now, if you're watching it on our partner site, such as YouTube or Facebook, you know that I'm doing a VPS Hosting 101 course on our blog at namehero.com slash startup. In that course, I'm also doing some performance tuning. So I specifically have a video where I show you how to really increase your load time using Apache. So again, if you want to use that, that's fine. Most, a lot of customers do. And then you can always upgrade later. So then we have the difference of light speed. So you're going to notice there's three different light speed web servers in here. And let me explain that. Light speed's a drop-in replacement for Apache. This means that it, it, the same functions that work on Apache work on light speed. But the difference is Apache or light speed is up to nine times faster. Um, so it's basically just a performance um, it, for higher performance. Lightspeed comes with its own PHP handler, um, its own caching system, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, so it's just a, a higher performance web server. And this is what we use on all of our shared and reseller web servers at NameHero. We use Lightspeed because of the performance aspect of it. So if you have a website that's really popular, then it probably makes sense that you want to buy Lightspeed. And if you want to provision your server without it, you can see the performance and then you can upgrade at a later time. But Lightspeed sells their licenses based on the number of CPUs that it has access to. So, for example, our um, 2 and 4 gigabytes come with the two CPUs, two virtual processors. Well, if you buy the one Lightspeed license, the one CPU license, you can see it's $35 a month, but it only operates on one of the cores of the server. So the more cores that it has access to, again, the higher performance. So if you have a popular site, you probably want to go for at least the two CPU license. That's kind of the average license. I think they developed the one CPU just to um, offer a, a lower price point. But in my opinion, the two CPU license is, is what you want to start off, and that's $50 a month. Now you're going to notice um, the two CPU license comes with something called LS Cache. And that's Lightspeed Cache. So if you run WordPress, they have their actual own caching plugin for WordPress, um, which performance tests have concluded that it's probably the fast, fastest caching plugin on the market right now for WordPress. So you have to have at least the two CPU license to have their caching um, software. So, and again, this is also included on all of our shared and reseller hosting servers at Name Hero. So if you're, you know, if you're really looking for performance aspects of a web server, that's what I, this is the one I recommend going with. 
Um, we do have a four CPU license, which is quite a bit more expensive at $70 a month. And that's for those really big enterprise sites. I mean, if you're getting millions of hits a month, then you probably want to look into that one. Um, but by average, people either go with Apache or they'll go with the two CPU light speed license. Um, next, we have CP Nginx. Nginx is also a high speed, um, high performance um, web server. And unlike Lightspeed, um, Nginx is actually free if you're just building out your own server. But if you want it to work with Web Host Manager and cPanel, then you have to use an Nginx drop-in plugin for Web Host Manager. So we've chosen to partner with CP Nginx. And CP Nginx allows for the Nginx web server to be run with cPanel and Web Host Manager. So because of that, there is a license fee of $10 a month. So if you're, you know, if you know you want need more performance than what Apache can give you, then and you don't want to spend the money for Lightspeed, then go with the CP Nginx. Now in this video today, I'm just going to be showing Apache and I'm going to be showing Lightspeed. Um, I'm not going to be showing the CP Nginx, and maybe I'll do the. An, a video at a later date. Um, but typically, most of our customers at Name Hero, they will go with Apache just to get started. They'll see the performance. If they notice a uh, degrade in performance, then they'll upgrade at a later time to light speed. Um, highly recommend the two CPU license though. The one CPU is just kind of a starter license. You, you know, you have light speed, but you really don't have all the, all the performance benefits of light speed. And of course you have the CP Engine X. So these are important things to note when you're ordering or configuring your VPS. Um, and they can, again, since they can be added at another time, um, you know, I, I encourage you to go ahead and just get your VPS online and then you can take a look at it a little bit later and then add it and our team can, you know, make the adjustments as necessary. But let me go into uh, my demo server here. And um, Apache is everything that you can configure is really inside of um, Web Host Manager. So we can go in here and we can type in Apache and we can click on Apache status or Apache status. And we can see um, kind of the performance as things are, are happening in it. And, and um, you know, as the workers start, you start getting um, traffic, you can look through here and examine this to determine, you know, do you need um, to make some, some performance tuning? You know, do you need, do you need to upgrade to uh, might speed? If I look in Apache configuration too, pretty much everything that you can do in SSH or actually really everything you can do in SSH is inside of web host manager. So if I want to configure stuff, I just start going in here and making my configuration. Now, I don't recommend that you go in here and mess with stuff if you don't know what you're doing. Um, I'll probably come up out with some more videos where I go in detail uh, to actual Apache or Apache um, performance tuning. Um, but you can kind of take a look at, um, you know, max request workers um, and you can click on the question mark and it's going to tell you a little bit more about this type of stuff, like keep alive. You know, obviously um, it, it, this is how many persistent HTTP connections you can turn off keep alive and your server will be a lot faster. But if you overload it, then the server will go down. Keep alive keeps it from actually timing out the RAM. So we can go through each one of these and, and, um, and performance tune this based on the RAM we have inside of the server. Um, so again, you have your defaults, but then you can start making modifications. Now, you know, every server is not alike. This is, depends on, you know, how big, how much RAM you have, um, how much RAM is being used by the databases. Like if you're, if you have a website using WordPress, then you, you know, you're going to need a lot of RAM used for, to pull the content out of that database. So you're going to be kind of limited to really tuning up really a, a Apache um, to doing a lot of crazy stuff. So, you know, you kind of want to keep the stuff the default, but then as you go and make these modifications, you kind of want to see how the server acts or how it performs. Um, but the, in this tab right here in Apache configuration, this is where the main performance um, optimizations are made. And, and it goes into keep alive and um, your, your, um, your workers. So your request workers, as well as your keep alive, that's, you know, where the main uh, performance aspects to Apache are, that's where they lie and exist. Um, you can also go into Easy Apache 4, which I demonstrate in another video, um, you know, kind of how we upgrade to PHP FPM for performance benefits. But Easy Apache 4, this is actually how you can rebuild PHP and Apache. And it's actually really cool. It's, it's came a long way from Easy Apache 3. Um, and again, this is something else I'll save for another video before I get into, uh, you know, grave detail about Easy Apache 4. But again, you know, all your performance optimizations are going to be made in there. 
Um, and you can see here currently installed packages. And this is where, so if you want to add um, PHP extensions, um, you can build them in here. Um, by default, now you get Apache 2.4, PHP 5.4, PHP 5.5, 5.6, 7.0, and 7.1. Um, so, you know, gone are the days of just having Apache and then one version of PHP. Nowadays, you get it all. So you, you have the flexibility. Um, and, you know, that's a reason why a lot of people um, sometimes didn't like Apache is because you were kind of stuck with just one certain configuration. Um, if you need to restart it, uh, the restart right here is restart HTTP, and you can restart your Apache web server. Okay, let's talk about Lightspeed for a second. If you decide to order that inside of your web host manager, you're going to have another link called Lightspeed Web Server. It'll be under Plugins. And when you click it, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. Now, I apologize, my demo here is not loading the icons this morning. That's because I'm actually coming from my IP address and I don't have a valid host name set up since this is a demonstration server. Um, so just kind of ignore the ugly icons. But um, you can see Light Lightspeed is running. Um, Apache is not running. You can run both simultaneously if you want. I personally don't recommend it. If I'm going to go Lightspeed, I like to go Lightspeed all the way. Um, you have your current version. You can click on this and upgrade it. You can disable Apache, easy Apache integration. You can build the matching Lightspeed PHP. As I said, Lightspeed comes with its own PHP handler. So instead of using PHP FPM or um, you know, fast CGI or um, SU PHP, um, you're actually going to have your own PHP handler of Lightspeed. You can uninstall it here. Um, this is for the cache management. If you have, if you purchase the two CPU license with Lightspeed Cache, um, this is where you're going to manage that for WordPress, um, where you can enable or disable it and upgrade the version. And then you can restart Lightspeed from here, and you also have your Lightspeed configuration. So if you click this here, you're actually going to be brought to another admin console to where you can really configure and fine tune um, light speed. So you can look in general, you've got um, your listeners and you've got all your details. Um, and then there's tons and tons of optimizations in here um, that you can edit. So you click configuration and you can see a bunch of stuff that we can go into and edit if we want to. Um, I'm personally not going to get into all of this right now. Um, by default, a lot of, um, you know, Lightspeed by default is going to be faster than Apache default, um, hands down. Um, but then if you want to spend some time to tune, you kind of get back into your max connections, your max SSL connections, your connection timeout. And once again, we see our keep alive um, you know, this goes back to keep alive and back to the regular Apache tuning um, that we can get into and modify this stuff. Um, you know, if you're going to use Lightspeed, though, I recommend just going for the default, seeing how it performs, and then evaluating from there. At Name Hero, our text, we can help make some recommendations, but really this is this comes to a point where sometimes you have to hire a, a third-party server administrator to really evaluate your exact specific application and um, your web server as a whole and kind of how you're wanting it configured. Um, and Name Hero, we don't know your architecture. You know, we know what kind of server you have, but we're not sure, you know, what applications are you running? Is it just WordPress or if you are you running custom applications? Um, so that's why we always refer to if you're really wanting to performance tune um, Lightspeed or even Apache, you know, you need to consult to someone that's really familiar with your actual application because our team, we can make generalized assumptions based on the server you have, but we really can't get into the nitty gritty of your specific application. But this is where it's all done um, inside of this configuration here. Um, there's a security. Um, there's a request filter. Um, there's a um, default caching. Um, external applications. You can see Lightspeed PHP is um, is one of them. Lightspeed PHP 5, the script handler for PHP. Um, then you have Rack and Rails. So you have a bunch of different things you can go into and mess with. Um, I don't recommend doing this unless you know. Um, you can click on the question marks to get some information about them. And you can also ask on Lightspeed. They have a nice little forum on their main website where you can ask questions on there and get some um, details. But in a nutshell, that's, um, that's Lightspeed. That's where you go to configure it. That's Apache. That's where you go and configure it. Um, you know, out of my experience running Name Hero, these are two of the most popular um, we are seeing an increase in Nginx since we did start offering that. Um, so as we get more demand, I'll probably get through and explain that a little bit more in detail. Um, but, you know, if you're just looking to build out your first VPS, just start off with Apache. You can always upgrade and drop in Lightspeed later. That's why I like about Lightspeed being a drop-in replacement is once you install it, nothing changes. I mean, all, all of your HT access rules works. Your sites will continue to function as they normally do, but with just higher performance. So it's not something that and when we install it, we add that you allow us to schedule about 10, 20 minutes of potential downtime um, so we can um, 
so we can reboot the server once we add it. But besides that, you're not going to have like a, um, a day's outage or whatever. It's not as necessary to install right off the bat. So that's an introduction to Apache and Lightspeed and the different types of web servers for your VPS. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, once again, if you're watching this video on YouTube or on our blog, um, I encourage you to take our VPS Hosting 101 course, namehero.com slash startup. Click on the training center link at the top, and then you can go from there and, um, and view the full um, or register for free for VPS Hosting 101. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks for using Name Hero Web Hosting.